हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल कन्या आर्ट एंड क्राफ्ट दिस इज देवो प्रिया एंड यस यू गेस्ट इट राइट दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट ग्लीटर लाइट एंड सेलिब्रेशन एज आई हैव पुट टुगेदर अ फ्यू कॉचियस लास्ट मिनट दिवाली डीआईवाइज सो विदाउट फर्दर अडियो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड हेयर हैव टेकन टू डिफरेंट साइज पाउल एंड रैपिंग दैम प्रॉपरली विद क्लिंग रैप लाइक दिस टेकिंग फेब्रिक्रिल मोल्डेड air dry clay i'll mix this two component together to form clay taking a small portion of clay and pressing the clay like this using fingers to form petal kind of shape i have already created quite a few of these petals following the same process and now i'm going to add texture with this palette knife a knife can also be used in case you don't have this palette knife now i'm going to use this bowls to give the petals a natural curvy shape we'll just try to stick all the petals to the bowls like this and allow them to dry for some time uh here i'm using a clay pot that i got from a punjabi restaurant as you can see i'm applying some glue on the back side of the clay pot now i'll fix it on the bowl where i have fixed the petals i have added some amount of clay on the top part and the bottom part of the flower petal to secure them sticking another clay strip for second layer now one by one i'll stick those petals on the clay and in the center i'm adding a round piece of clay pressing it towards the clay pot to fix it properly now take a sharp tool or you can also use a dot painting tool to give dotted texture like this and this is how it looks now applying a layer of base color here i'm using white acrylic paint you can also use gesso Here I'm applying pink color on the lotus part. I have mixed white and crimson to make this color. So the ratio is three is to one. Three portion of white, one portion of crimson. Here I have taken air dry clay and rolling them to form clay strips. Now, as you can see, I'm making some design using this clay strips. Here I'm taking a thick clay strips and sticking it here. using dot painting tool to give dotted impression on the clay strips adding some more design following the original structure of the clay pot i'll try to provide the links of all the materials that i'm going to use for this four diys in the description box below so you can directly check out from there i'll also link down the products and the equipments that i used to shoot the videos i received a lot of queries regarding that so i have provided the links in the description box below so you can check out from there i have applied brown color on the center part and applying light green color on this part and now i'm applying yellow color on the center part followed by orange color on the bottom part of the design now i'm adding white color on all the clay strip areas we need to apply two layers at least to cover the clay strip properly and here comes the most interesting part i'm using this golden dust from fabric grill and as you can see i'm using my fingers for the application and trust me that is the best way I'm applying this dust on the center part of the lotus and on the top part of the petals. And this will definitely enhance and elevate the final look of the project. Now I'm going to use this golden tinted mirror to decorate the side part of the clay pot. Okay, so all the mirrors that have used for this projects are from Crystal India. They have a wide range of products ranging from regular different shape mirrors to micro mirrors, tinted or colored mirrors, different types of beads, a variety of sequins, embroidery materials, and recently they have added MDF board and fabric grill products to their website. I'll include a link to their website in the description box below. You may try ordering from them and the best part is they also ship internationally. And this is how our first DIY tea light holder looks like. Isn't it looking beautiful? Do leave a feedback on the comment section below. Moving to our second project. Here I have taken a old plastic glass and a steel plate, sticking them together using glue. using a sponge to apply a layer of base coat uh, i'm using white acrylic paint but you can also use gesso if you have that i'm also covering the plate part using primer and let it dry now i'm using a cone made of chalk powder and fabricol which we usually use for lip and art to make some design on the glass part um design you can choose according to your preference I'm going with this paisley pattern. I'll try to cover the whole bottom part using this pattern. 
using sparkling pearl turquoise blue from fabric grill and applying this color using a sponge like this applying ultramarine blue on the top part and trying to merge this two color together to create a tinted shade applying light blue color on the bottom and merging the color with a sponge applying the same sparkling turquoise blue color on the plate now applying golden dust using finger to highlight the paisley pattern and see this will instantly enhance the look of the tea light holder isn't this diy tea light holder looks quite similar to the expensive looking showpiece if yes then do drop a thumbs up in the comment section below now moving to our third project here i've taken a 4 inch round mdf board i have marked a circle according to the size of the tea light now i'm sticking a clay strip following the line marking few lines and applying glue following that now i'm sticking different shape mirrors to form a beautiful design i'm covering the whole board with this mirrors following the same pattern i'm taking 1 tablespoon of marble powder equal amount of glue and a little amount of paint here i have used neon pink shade from fabric grill applying this paste on the top part of the mdf board using a palette knife i'm evenly spreading the paste across the top part of the mdf board and trying to cover all of the board's corner then allow it to dry for an hour or two after application now using a wet cloth to remove the extra paste from the surface of the mirrors applying teal blue color on the center part applying white color on the clay border and we are done with our third project and this is how it looks now moving to our last and the fourth project here i have taken a glass jar and on that i have used a glass marker to draw some patterns now using a 3d outliner to highlight those pattern here i'm using fabricril pearl metallic gold 3d outliner and this is how it looks after finishing now i'm going to apply glass color of two different shade blue and green so on the lower part i'm applying blue color and on the top part i'm applying green color allow it to dry and then i'm again going to use this pearl metallic gold 3d outliner from fabric grill to draw beautiful teardrop shape patterns like this inside the design uh, a friendly reminder if you enjoyed watching this videos then please consider subscribing to my channel your support will really inspire me to create more such content also kindly give a thumbs up share with your friends and make sure you click the notification bell for updates on our upcoming projects thank you i'm pouring few drops of blue glass paint inside the bottle to fill the bottom part of the jar like this now adding few dots following a straight line like this to enhance the final look of the design and on the top part of the bottle i'm adding a golden lace using fabricol and we are done with our last project hope you enjoyed watching this last minute diwali diy video आप सबको दिवाली की बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं विश यू ऑल अ वेरी हैप्पी दिवाली आप सबकी दिवाली बहुत अच्छी जाए खुशियों से भरी रहे हेल्दी एंड वेल्दी रहे सी यू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो अंटिल देन हैव अ वंडरफुल फेस्टिव सेलिब्रेशन विथ योर लव्ड वंस बाय बाय